Coy, it's Casey Coy. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. <sighs> this is like my first get ready with me in like such a long time. Like I totally miss doing these. I'm like, ah. so yeah, I'm very excited about today's video. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I kind of fell apart earlier today and I just wasn't thriving. I like started filming a different video. It was gonna be a skincare video, but I wasn't gonna film it in the first place because I was like, ugh. I have some reasons about that, but, um, yeah, so that I was filming, like mid filming and my battery died and I knew that I charged both my batteries like last week when I filmed videos. So I still had like some charge left on the one I filmed from like last week and then that one like died. So I was like, okay, I have a full battery yet. I'm fine. And then that one dies like 10 minutes in. So I'm like, I'm not thriving, I'm not doing well, um, yeah, so I had to like plug my battery in and like hope for the best and hope that I could like get it like charged so that I can actually film a video today because I, today's my only day I can film so I'm sorry if this video isn't the best. <laughs> I'm trying to like go quickly too because it pushed my whole day back and yeah, now I don't have that much time to film, I love it. Um, okay, so I already have moisturizer on and like lip balm on. Um, it's been a long time since I've like done a get ready with me. So there's a lot of maybe new products that you guys have never really seen me use. You might have seen me use this. This is like aloe vera gel. I use this like morning and night before moisturizer, before like anything. I just put that on and it's so like, it just feels so good. It's just like a little little touch of moisture just is very soothing um i got this recently i saw it on amazon i don't even know how to pronounce it it's just like an aloe vera cream by epic organicum epic organicum i don't even know i will link those down below but yeah i've been using this moisturizer lately and i don't know yet how i feel about it that's why i wasn't gonna do a skincare video because i like I don't even know. Like my skincare is like so questionable. I don't really like follow the same skincare that I have followed. It's like different every time. So I literally don't know what to do. And I need a mirror. <laughs> I will be back. I'm back. <laughs> I got a mirror. I don't know how my skin is compared to like my last video. If it's better if it's worse i don't know i still get active acne all the time um so that's no fun <laughs> i don't know that's why i'm like not really sure yet with like a skincare video because i was watching a skincare video just to get like an idea of how people do them and the girl's skin was like good <laughs> her skin was like bad to great and i'm like I still feel like mine is like moderately not the greatest and it's still, I still struggle. Obviously it's improved, but I don't even know like what product helped my skin. Like I don't even, I don't even use the same stuff I've used. So like I, I don't know. I really don't know. And I don't know if like, I don't know. I just want to be like helpful and I don't want to recommend stuff. If I'm not even like where I want to be with my skin. Um, but I'm totally down to do a skincare routine video of just stuff that I've used in the past and stuff that might help you. I can do that. Um, I was gonna do that today, but <laughs> my Camara died and now I don't have enough time to film all the videos I was gonna film today. <laughs> it's okay. You know, it's fine. Life happens. So how have you guys been? Uh, what's been new with you guys? I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> it's been it's been a really long time. I'm trying to think like what has all happened since like like five months. Um, I don't even know. I I'm curious. Are you guys getting Disney Plus? I don't know if I should get it, but like lately I've been really wanting to watch like all of the Star Wars movies and I think it'd be really convenient to like have it online and I think it's only like seven dollars, which isn't bad, like seven dollars to watch all the Star Wars movies. Uh, okay. 
and it's like a free seven day trial so i really do want to do that but i just have to plan a time um and i've really been wanting to watch tangled because that's like my favorite disney movie and i also want to watch frozen because frozen 2 is coming out or else it's out already i don't even know i'm kind of out of the loop with all of that <laughs> I should probably tell you what I'm putting on my face because you don't know. Um, guess guess who's still around? Um, the one that I've used from the beginning. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup in the shade 01 Fresh Alabaster. I look very pale, wow. Um, I mix that with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in the shade 10 Ivory Light. These are both the lightest shades because your girl is pale. Um, yeah. But I've been mixing those together for a couple of months now and I really enjoy that the finish isn't like too matte or too dewy. It's very full coverage. I don't feel like I have to like cake it on. It doesn't like dry out my skin. I don't know. I like like that I it gets gives me that full coverage. Like my skin has improved in the way of like there's less bumps and less like texture I guess. However, I still get zits. They're just smaller. So like this combo really does make my skin look pretty flawless because it's so full coverage. So it's it's an, it's a good combo. I've been I've been really liking it. Um I still use the Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade Fair Beige. So I'm going to go in with that. Uh, yeah, let me just <laughs> Put that down. I work at Starbucks yet. All the holiday stuff is out. It's kind of fun, kind of quirky. It makes me feel like I need to start decorating already. <laughs> Hi there. Whoa, that looks so creepy. It's fine, it's fine. I'm really thriving. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes me want to put like Christmas stuff up. So I... I feel like I have to decorate already and I don't know what to do and I feel like I have to get gifts for people already and it's honestly kind of stressing me out like I really do love Christmas and that time of giving but I don't like giving my cash away I don't have a lot of money <laughs> yeah but I don't know I'm trying to figure it out yet uh yeah so I have no idea what I'm gonna get for people. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to think of like new things I've been listening to. I'm really excited for Camila Cabello's album to come out, the romance one. I've been listening to like every song she's released from it and I love it. Like Living Proof just came out, love it, easy. Uh, Liar, the music video, so good. Like those guys are so hot so cute like i'm i'm living um oh yeah and on netflix i watched the movie tall girl i'm not like obsessed with the movie or anything but i kind of am obsessed with i think his name is stieg you know the guy who's like from sweden like the exchange student that's literally so funny because when i was in high school my freshman year there was an exchange student from norway Hottest guy I've ever seen in my life. Like, so hot, so cute. Like, oh my gosh. I remember, like, I would, like, walk different paths every day from school. Like, I would literally, like, I would go the opposite route but still make it to class. But just so I could, like, see him. Like, I knew his schedule in a way. Like, I never even had a class with him. But I, like, I was creepy. I, like, stalked this guy. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> But watching that movie reminded me of that and the guy who plays Steak is so hot. Like Luke Eisner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. So like I was really, really into the movie for uh, Luke. Um, and guess what? Guess, guess freaking what? Um, Luke Eisner, the guy who plays Steak, is from Wisconsin and he literally is from like 40 minutes from where I live. Like, I'm like what? <laughs> Like, our paths could have crossed. We're from the same region. Like, I love that. I am shook. However, I'm not expecting anything. He does have a girlfriend. <laughs> and how would I meet him anyway? He's in, like, LA, like, living life right now. 
I mean like very cold Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. So that's been my love life. <laughs> it's just fantasizing about guys in music videos or movies that are really unattainable. Yay for me. How is your guys' love life going? Like, do you guys have a crush? Do you have any, like, quirky moments with a guy? Like, there is a, like, a real life guy. <laughs> Not like Luke isn't real, but like a realistic guy that, like, maybe I have potential with. My best friend at work, at Starbucks, he, his best friend, is really attractive and he's been out in school so like I haven't been able to meet his other best friend but like this best friend is like super hot <laughs> and like I don't know he seems like my type like he really does he's just really cute and I I'm interested and like I've you know I know some things about him because he talks about him sometimes but i like am shook like i'm like ah. yeah so if i like potentially meet this guy maybe like thanksgiving break he'll be back and like my friend was josh <laughs> my friend josh was saying like we could go to maybe church together with him or something because like he's pretty religious but i don't want to talk too much about him because you know i don't really know him that well and it's probably really creepy that some random chick is talking about him. And <laughs> like how creepy am I? Like, oh my gosh. You know, and I also never get my hopes up when it comes to dating people because if I'm being honest with you, like I don't know if I'm ready to date somebody. I've never really dated. I've gone on dates, but like an actual like long dating time has never happened for me. Um and I'm not the least bit ashamed of that. Like, I literally don't care. If anything, it's, like, allowed me to figure myself out more. And, yeah. So, like, I don't really care. Like, it sounds nice. Like, here's the thing. When everyone around you starts getting boyfriends and your friends get boyfriends and, like, everyone's, like, living and starting getting engaged, like, crazy stuff. Like, I know I'm just out of high school, basically, but, like, yeah. Some of my friends are already like with their person, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> how they <are?" laughs> Yeah, not thriving super hard. So, um, I don't know. I'm still figuring out my life. I'm not like in a mega rush, but I do have a plan now. I'm starting to have a plan. Um, I really want to be like, a health coach and I want to help people I can help you guys I want to be like a virtual health coach so that I can like FaceTime people or call people from literally anywhere and help people just transform their lives and just like I think people overthink health a lot and they worry about the details when really just like generic stuff is so important like are you actually getting enough sleep are you getting enough water are you eating well like are you taking care of your mental health like all of that stuff people kind of overlook and they don't realize like the baby steps are like the most important things you know I don't know to me health is just like so important it's like all you have at the end of the day like is your health so I just think it's crazy important and I don't think I'd regret like being a health coach because I like I said it's just something that's gonna be with you your whole life like Health is something you can never escape, so I feel like it's super important to, like, always be mindful of, like, what you're eating and just, you know, it doesn't have to be, like, obsessive. It's just, like, you know, making sure you're taking care of yourself, I think, is, like, the most important thing. So, I am trying to get myself on track so I can maybe get other people on track. But it is hard. Honestly, being healthier is really hard because it's not the most convenient option. You know, like prepping meals and cooking and stuff isn't convenient than like going through a drive through and just getting like cheap fast food. But like cheap fast food isn't healthy. You know what I mean? So it's always something like it's never easy. <laughs> if it was easy, everyone would probably be doing it, but it's not. And that's why it's so hard to actually 
be healthy and be healthier. Um, I need to tell you what I'm using. Um, I'm using the Fit Me. I used the Fit Me Loose Powder on my face, and then I went over it with the Marc Jacobs Accomplice. This is like a powder. I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I'm just kind of using it. I got it when there was like a Sephora sale um, a while ago. So, yeah. That's the tea. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in India Sun. This is her lightest shade, I believe, of the bronzers, and I really like it. It's not too warm. It's not too cool toned. Yeah, it's not like gray. Like people who are fair, I feel like they always make ours either like gray or they make it like it's too orangey for us. Like this is a very nice like neutral bronzer that's lasted me so long. Like I've been using this for a really long time and I absolutely love this bronzer. Like it's just a really nice kind of natural bronzing like thing and I really, really love it. It's great. So... I am a big fan of the bronzer. I've been living for it. What's crazy to think is that I started my channel like, let me think. I think I uploaded my first video on Christmas or something like that. Yeah, it was like Christmas day. And my second video is on New Year's. I think, it, I think so because I remember that but yeah that's kind of coming up already like it's almost been a full year that i've been on youtube and it's like crazy to me because it feels like yesterday i feel like i'm starting fresh again so i don't even feel like i've done it for long at all like i it's crazy to me to think that it's been like a year and i literally had no expectations i was just like oh, it would be cool you know to do it <laughs> And like, look at it now. What to go? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, um, I'm kidding. But it's crazy, like how much can change in a year, and like going into it thinking like, oh, no one's gonna watch this. You know, to having like some people who watch me and like actually care about me. Like, it's crazy. Like I never. It's like a dream come true. Like, and I don't even care how many views I get anymore. It's just like, I just appreciate any support. Like, it feels really great. Like, it's honestly such a good feeling to feel supported by people. And, you know, to have like a safe place where I can escape and feel comfortable and people enjoy watching my videos. It's, it's crazy. Like, I really am grateful. Like, it's been awesome. Best decision I probably ever made in my life <laughs> that's intense wow i should tone it down but maybe i'll just make it intense both sides so that hi there you're making me blush i am a blush kind of girl though i really like blush i like using a lot of blush i feel like it gives like Kind of like that natural color back in your cheeks. Um, that I never really realized was so important. It's easy to like make yourself really pale when you like are pale. And you just put like foundation on and you're like just one color. Um, but I think blush really like livens me back up. Even though I put a lot on. It's just the lighting. Honestly, yeah. It's the lighting. I might blend it a little bit. I'm just, I don't know. It's fine. Trust me, it's fine. Um, yeah, what did I just use? Oh, yeah, so I used the bronzer and then the blush from uh, this Cover Effects palette. Perfector face palette. Light medium. Yeah, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Um, I think I got it in a BoxyCharm, which I don't get BoxyCharm anymore. <laughs> I also mixed the blush with Fresh and Peachy from ColourPop. It's pretty... Um, yeah, I don't really get BoxyCharm anymore. I don't know if I'm like missing out or if I feel bad about that, but I don't know. I don't really know if I miss BoxyCharm. I think, honestly, it was fun and I think it was like worth it in a way. Ooh. But like, I don't know. If you guys want me to get BoxyCharm, I can do it because it's not, it's not that bad. It's not that expensive for like what you get. 
$21 isn't that awful, but like a lot of times when I realize it and think about it, the reality is I wouldn't buy those products. Like it seems worth it when you buy it, but like would you actually like buy those specific products? Like probably not, you know? So I'm like, you know, I could be saving myself like hundreds of dollars a year if I just bought what I actually wanted beauty wise. Even though they're great, like that's why I'm like, I don't know. But the amount of stuff I use on the daily that's actually from a BoxyCharm, I don't think anything, honestly. Not really, so yeah, it kind of isn't it anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I used that first highlighter I put down was from that Cover Effects palette. I just used like the brightener shade. And then on top of it, I still use my Amrezy, 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 I don't know, highlighter from Anastasia. I really love this highlight. I've been using this, I think, since the start of my channel. Probably even before then. And I've dropped her a couple times. She's she's living her life. But it's like lasted me for so long. And I still have so much product. But I really really love this highlighter. It's not too like white. Like too bright. And it's not too dark for my skin. So it's literally perfect for any skin tone. So I love it. Alright. I know I look a little crazy. I think it's kind of the lighting. Also, I'm kind of rushing, so I should be better, but I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my brows and my eyes. I forgot my setting spray, but I don't really use setting spray half the time, so it's okay. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. Um, the brow pencil I use is the Precision Brow Pencil from ColourPop. We are a big fan of her. Um, we love it. So I'm just going to trace this on my brow. If you guys want me to do more singing covers, like, I'll probably do them anyway, but, like, if you have, like, a request, if you want me to do a certain song, like, I'm down. Singing is just something I have loved doing since I was little. It's something I've always just naturally been drawn to do. Like, I just love singing and I love music. Um, my most used app is probably Spotify. I probably use it, like, eight hours out of the day. Like, I'm always playing music. Um, and I love music. I love music so much. I've been really loving K-pop lately. Um, Latin music is really fun. Rosalia, I've been listening to her lately. Oh my gosh. I think... No, 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 Konatura. <laughs> or whatever. That song is lit. Like, Konatura, Kon Otona. No, Brende, I cannot speak Spanish for the life of me. Ich spreche Deutsch. <laughs> Not really, but I mean, I took German for like three and a half years, not good at it at all. Like, I was pretty bad. Um, and I've been to Germany twice, so German has a huge place in my heart. I also am German a little bit, you know, 50% German or something. So, I'm pretty German. I'm like prominently German. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, Germany is everything to me and I would love to go back. But I do want to travel to other places as well, but I just like haven't, um, but I would love to. Traveling is so, so fun, so cool. I just, for me, it's hard to vision myself like traveling alone because I don't think I could do that. I did it once because I have some connections in Germany from when I did an exchange program in my school. So... It was really fun. I, the first time I went to Germany, I think I was 
I was a sophomore. It was like my my sophomore summer. I went to Germany. I stayed with a girl named Sophie, and she was really nice. Um, her German, I mean, her English wasn't the greatest, so I didn't know. I didn't like. We weren't like super close because of that. Um, but it was still really fun. Um, the following year, uh, we host students from their school. So, um, but it was like a new batch. They did like a new batch every two years. So like we go there, they come here type of thing. Um, and I got a girl named Kati and she's like one of my best friends. She was awesome to host. Um, really good time. It was like the best, I think it was only two weeks, but it was like the best two weeks of my life. Like what a good time. She's like my sister from abroad, like it's great. Um, yeah, so then the following summer, then students from my school would go there again, but because I was so bad at German and I was kind of like over it, um, I dropped German and I went by myself because it would have been cheaper anyway to just fly down there without doing all the extras, you know? So I decided to get a flight and uh, she picked me up at the airport. So I did go and fly by myself, but it was only like to the airport. Still pretty dope, pretty scary, um, not quirky. I remember being really nervous in security. Like I, <laughs> I was waiting in line. They like scan you, you do like a full body scan or whatever when I got to Germany and I remember like shaking. I don't know why I was so nervous. Like, and I moved too quick, so they had me redo it. And they're like, "Oh, see, it's nervous." Like, they were like talking about me in German, and I was like, "Yeah." Like, I just, I don't know. I was so uncomfy. I was like, "I don't like being alone. I don't like traveling by myself. It's just so different when you have somebody with you." Like, I just feel so much better. Um, so yeah, I would love to travel with somebody, or even if like. <laughs> I know this is like a lot to ask, but if any of you guys live somewhere and you're like willing to open your doors, like we can collab, we can make a video, we can hang out. I just like need someone to like stay with me or like be there with me to do stuff with. Then I'd be so down, like honestly. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm excited for the future. I feel like traveling is kind of not in my radar right now because I have to save up money and I want to do my health coaching and I want to get like a plant-based certificate. So I want to learn more about a plant-based diet because I do really believe in that. Um, yeah, so there's just stuff on my mind right now where I'm just not like, I don't know. I can travel maybe when I get like a job or get things figured out. I just feel like it's hard because I've been working for a long time and traveling is so fun but like it'd be nice to have like a, a real job you know um Starbucks is a real job but you know one that pays enough that I can like actually travel and not spend my entire savings <laughs> so I gotta figure that all out it's kind of hard yeah but Anyways, I should tell you what I'm doing because I have a habit of not saying anything about what I'm actually doing. <laughs> I don't know if you like Get Ready's With Me of me just like talking or if you like me explaining what I'm doing. Like I never really know what you guys really want and I'm down to do like either. <laughs> like please be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I mean I'm using the Tati palette. Um, I'm just using literally the Soothe Row for the transition and the Story Row I'm using as like the orange row. And I'm just kind of using this to do a pretty like warm look, you know? So that's the plan. I don't want to run out of time, so I'm a little worried about time right now. I just always plan to film when like no one's home so that I can actually like do it <laughs> and be good but you know we're figuring it out uh, I just tapped the sequin shade on which literally does nothing but it's fine uh, a bird just hit the window hair could get better baby uh, okay I am then going to take this metallic shade 
tap her down. Better lock them doors and turn the lights down low. How's the music gonna be soft and slow? No, 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 no place to go. The fallout's kind of bad, honestly, from the Tati palette. It's not like amazing, but you know. I'm gonna go in with the orange glitter. I'm not flipping you off. <laughs> I just realized what I was doing. I was like, oh, no. Not my intent. What a good impression. <laughs> <sighs> what I like to do with the glitters and the metallics is I kind of use them together. I like to put the glitter down first and then I put a metallic on top of it to kind of give it that like really like foiled and glittery look. And then to like amp it up I add glitter on top of it again. Um, yeah. So I'm going to use the glitter from the Soothe Row next and I'm just going to do that next door. These glitters, man, are like, it's awesome. They're so good. They're just really pretty and fun. It takes the look to like a whole extra level. And then I'm going to take that kind of gold metallic shade from the Soothe Row and tap that on top just to kind of give it fill in those lines and then I'm gonna tap a little bit of the gold glitter on top just one more time and then I'm gonna tap some of the glitter from the soothe row on top just a little bit just to like amp it up just a little bit more just kind of gotta build it yeah fun. I love this look. It's very like glowy and pretty. Alright, I'm gonna take that matte shade and we're just gonna do what we did out up top <laughs> on the bottom. Just gonna blend that out. Then I'm going to take Soothe and I'm going to go in the inner parts a little bit more. Then I'm going to take, if I can find my brush, the orangey shade again. Really lightly, I'm just going to bring that in my transition just to kind of get it up there again. Alright, and then I'm going to blend Soothe, and I'm going to take that all over. Fallout is kind of intense, which isn't cute, but it's fine. Alright, the eyes are basically done. I'm going to do the rest kind of sped up, but I will touch base with you and tell you how I finished the eyes off. So, I... Sorry I didn't talk during the eye portion. I just wanted to focus. I'm going to have everything in the description. Um, I'm kind of short on time. So I wish I could talk more with you guys. And like really talk like the entire time. But 
I had to go a little quickly. I did some blue liner in the waterline. I really love this look. It's just super warm and complimentary and pretty and glittery and I love it. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Um, yeah, I'll just have everything in the description. I think that will help the most. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use, I think this, I know it doesn't really go with the eyes, but it's not as bold as it looks. It's just like a nice natural lit tint. <laughs> natural, yeah. Just wanted to blend that in. I really love these. These are from ColourPop. They're the Su So Juicy Pumping Lip Glossies. Ooh. Um, but yeah, they're really gorgeous. I really love them. Colourpop does not sleep. Like, they just they just put out stuff all the time. Um, but yeah, this is basically my full face. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my hair looks like a mess. I need to dry it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of rushed and not, like, the best. But I just wanted to really sit down and do Get Ready With Me and show you the new products that I've been using uh, I'm sorry if I didn't like describe everything the best. Um, everything is going to be in the description. So if you're like, <laughs> you didn't say what you used, like check the description. I'm going to have everything in order down there. I'm going to have to write all that out. <laughs> but yeah, so just check the description. I will totally do more of these. I am getting some fun goodies that I ordered from ColourPop soon. Um... I got the mini controversy palette from Jeffree Star, but I don't know when it's shipping. I got it when it first came out, so I don't know. Like, it's been a hot minute, and I know that they're backed up with, like, orders. But, like, hopefully I can get that soon, and I can do a video using that palette and playing with it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, um, I hope you enjoyed this look. <laughs> I know it's pretty simple, but this is just kind of, like, my new everyday kind of routine. Like... You know, this is like a pretty usual look for me. So like everything I use on the face is pretty much what I do every day. The only thing I normally change is like eyeshadow and lip colors. And that's basically it. But this is like my go-to makeup now. And it's been really nice because I feel like the shade matches me pretty well. I really like that my bronzer isn't too orangey. I mean, pretty vast difference from when I started, but like, you know, I still might be wearing too much blush or too, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope you have a really great day. Um, I really enjoyed filming this video today. I know that I ran out of time earlier, so I couldn't give you more, but I really hope that this is okay. <laughs> I really love you guys. Um, let me know what you want to see next. I have some ideas already, so I'm getting back into the groove of things. It's going to take me a minute. You know, there's no guarantees, like, schedule-wise. Like, I try my best, but, like, things happen. Life happens. You know, can't expect perfection from me. <laughs> yeah, but I love you. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Um, let me know anything in the description. Not in the description, in the comments. <laughs> Tell me how your life's been. Just, you know, I want to just know about you guys. Have a great day, okay? Bye! I love you.